It's the perfect rivalry. The baseline player and the net rush. Borg from his throne, Arthur. The only thing standing between Borg and that record is you. You and Borg are as different as two people could possibly be. Without on that court. And none of you understand it because none of you do it. what Bjorn's doing right now. He's in bed. His room is cold because he wants his pulse below 50 beats a minute. Jerk off, answer the question. The ball is on the line. Chuck's all over. Yeah? I'm going to issue you a warning for unsportsmanlike behavior. What do you have to feel knowing you'll make history if you win your fifth Wimbledon? I'm just like uh, anybody else. I'm not a machine. The question. Say about your behavior. Let's talk about tennis. Does anybody have any tennis so questions? Do you expect anyone to root for you in the final against Borg? Look, I, I get that... Uh, you got your hero, you know, your gentleman. The final we've all been waiting for. War, and you need a villain. Shut up! You don't understand what it takes to play tennis. Where people are talking more. You know, about I go you. out there and I give everything for this game. <laughs> everything. Everything in me gets left. The Swede, who at only 24 could make history by winning his fifth Wimbledon. Can McEnroe pull B? Is he backstage or something? Is he gonna like jump out of the cage? McEnroe is the bigger talent, but playing Borg is like being hit by a sledgehammer. How does it feel? Every year he trains on the same court, he rents the same car, he sleeps in the same room. What is that? You'll never be remembered as one of the greats, you know why? Because nobody likes you. The only thing people are gonna say is... You cannot be serious! I was that crazy guy that always yelled at the umpire. The world of tennis has never before seen anything quite like this.